If you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe and become part of this community. Oh, and also go cop that fresh merch and listen to my new album in the description. Let's talk about this new The Baby and Youngboy collaborative album, Better Than You, because this was something that in hip hop it was talked about quite a bit before it came out. You know, The Baby himself called it the collab of the century. Now, of course, that's a bit over exaggerated, but still, you know, people were excited for this. You know, Youngboy has one of the biggest and just most dedicated fan bases in hip-hop the baby seems to always do pretty well whenever he comes around with some new music so the two of them collaborating was quite a big thing i talked about the rollout of this thing in my video that i made leading up to the release of it in which i talked about everything that we knew about this and i said that to me this kind of just came out of nowhere i mean they had that one track hit and then before that that jump single that now didn't make the final cut but that, that still went pretty big back when it dropped and rumors first started gearing up about the two of them doing something together so this was a long time you know in the making and the baby has positively spoken about young boy on several occasions calling him one of his favorite rappers and you know saying that he's super talented and stuff like that so it's only a matter of time until this thing came out and now we got it and this kind of dropped low key you know no big promotion for this it's called as i said better than you i like the album cover quite a bit i think that's you know quite creative and i like that but starting from there i saw a few problems with this thing now th those are just the subtle little things that can make an experience of an album less enjoyable in this case it is that the album cover is quite low quality um and also when you look at the track list the track names are like not named properly you know sometimes a letter is capitalized at other points is not but but at this point it doesn't have any creative purpose it's just probably you know it wasn't looked after when the songs were uploaded and just little things like that just makes it seem you know less valuable of an album than it might actually be if all the surrounding details were just fitting um, of course that might just be a pet peeve for, for myself but I do think that other people might also find this not as enjoyable now listening to the actual tracks we got two singles beforehand I already said that the hit single dropped I wasn't too big of a fan of that it was very very, you know repetitive and just something that you would expect from an NBA young boy and the baby track and we got the neighborhood superstar track that only dropped a couple of days ago that I actually quite liked a bit better I also like that it was four minutes in length that is also the longest track on this album and I like that they just went back and forth trading bars like that so I was positively surprised from the neighborhood superstar track also the music videos accompanying hit and neighborhood superstar were really fun you know they had to be filmed at at home at young boy's home because that dude is still on house arrest and so the baby you know went there and it was like a very amateur type of way that they did those music videos just at home but it was really fun and you could tell that they were just having fun with it so I did like you know the the first step of rollout for this thing and I was you know having some expectations for this and listening to the whole album it is 12 tracks in length with a runtime of 33 minutes so not the longest album and some of these songs are barely passing the two minute you know mark in length and that doesn't have to mean anything to baby and young boy both have done songs sub two minutes in the past that still went pretty big and were pretty enjoyable so that didn't mean anything and that was just kind of like what we were expecting and maybe i had the wrong mindset going into this because if you've been following the channel or you've talked to me on the discord you know that i'm very big on artists always developing themselves always going out of their comfort zone and trying to push things incorporating you know different elements and track lists and this is really not what we see here most of these tracks 10 out of 12 tracks are basically the same style that you would just expect when you see that NBA Youngboy and the baby have linked up and you know did a song together it is that very aggressive that very like you know fast bars just kind of one after another type of stuff that you expect from both of them individually but this time just put together I was hoping they could maybe go in different directions I, you know, young boy can do so much stuff melodically and the baby has also proven to step out of his comfort zone in the past after people have accused him of, you know, not switching up his flow. So it was something that I was I was hoping for. Maybe they could come through and be like, yo, both of us still have that other side in us that can create something, you know, big together and beautiful. But that's really not the case. There are two tracks on here that kind of switch it up, take things slower, take a more melodic approach to this. And that is little to a lot and also count on me. And those are, to be honest, 
of my favorite tracks because I feel like all the other tracks I've heard before, either individually from the baby or individually from Youngboy. And I get that releasing this thing, their fan bases are still going to listen to the stuff that is not that different type of sound that I, you know, wouldn't listen to myself because I've heard that a thousand times from them before because it just sells to their audience. And that is also what they're known for. They're pushing that sound. And that is good. We need those different elements and different artists and personalities and sounds and hip hop. I was just hoping that when they come together and do something like this, we were going to get something else. Aside from that, aside from those expectations that I had, the album is pretty solid. If you've liked the stuff that they've done before, then you will probably like tracks like, you know, On This Line or Syracuse. I, I thought Creeper was quite a funny track as well, especially lyrically and content wise. You'll like Head Off as well and BBL and stuff like that. Uh, so basically all the tracks on here, because they, they really didn't do anything risky. They knew what they could go for. They knew it would sell to their audience and to the people listening to their stuff. So if you like their stuff that they've done in the past and you're not tired of it, then, you know, by any means, go listen to this thing and enjoy it. That's what it's here for. I'm not trying to judge them for not doing anything different because in the end, they're making music for the people that like it. And if you like it, then, you know, go ahead, listen to it. I'm just saying that my own expectations weren't fully fulfilled and listening to this thing it just seems honestly kind of boring because the same tracks just repeat over and over again and I've heard it a thousand times before and I know that that's the usual criticism that people like the baby or young boy get so at this point it's kind of like corny to always say that and always hate on them for that specific reason but I was just hoping this time around it would be better but anyway better than you the baby young boy all in all a pretty solid project if you enjoy the stuff that they've done in the past um, and especially you know though I said there are a couple of the tracks on here here, like a little to a lot and also count on me that I did really enjoy creeper was also one of my favorite tracks and some of the more upbeat stuff I did like as well um, BBL for example was a, a you know a really hard going track head off was a, a crazy track as well I liked that quite a bit and I can imagine listening to that in certain situations but I'm just saying my expectations my hopes of bit of a switch up and bit of more melodic stuff like the stuff that's on count on me and little to a lot I was just hoping that that would be like half of the album and not just you know like a little a very small portion of it but in the end you know that's just that's just my take but the baby nba young boy better than you out now go listen to it this thing has been a long time in the making and i think you know their fans are very excited for this because that also you, both both sides can tell sell it to the other side quite well the style that they're doing but as i said just my thoughts my opinions on this thing now i want to know what you think about this were you excited for this did this to you also just kind of drop low key what were you expecting were those expectations fulfilled on here? What songs were the ones you liked the most? What songs do you dislike the most? And do you think that the baby and NBA will ever switch, you know, from their style and switch things up in the future? All of that, let me know in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it, and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button, and go follow my social media, and most importantly, join my Discord in the description. Until the next one, you'll have an incredible day, and you'll take care.